Hey guys, um, I have a haul for you. It is very dark outside, um, but I decided to do it now because I've had this stuff in boxes and I really want to put it away. And I think um, I've got a lot of other stuff still coming. Uh, I want a mystery box of scrapbooking supplies online last night. I paid 30 or I think it was, yeah, about $30, $40 for it. And um she said that usually you get uh three times the amount that you pay for so well over um wholesale prices so i'm looking forward to that i've got one more um thing from anna's craft cupboard coming i've got another thing from stamp it up coming and i think that's it for now because i really need to start using some of my other stuff but this was one of my Horse from Anna's Craft Cupboard I got the other day, but I threw out the um, order form, so I can't tell you how much they are, but I think it came to something like 70 bucks or something like that. Anyway, uh, the first thing that I got was this playground, um, Echo Park, like sort of tag thingy, and I just love that so much, the Polaroid, the tickets got an orange background and I got another playground thing because I'm planning on doing a page that I have of me as a kid um, at the playground so it's kind of like a border sort of thing and it's got little I love the little um, I guess you could say retro sort of camera um, the little thingy bobs, the flags and stuff. It's very colourful and cool. And that's the back of it. Another playground piece of paper. Just a really bright. And I haven't figured out if I'm going to use this as a background or cut out the uh, strips individually or but on the back it's just plain. Uh, simple stories. This is, I think, just, does it have a name? Destinations, it's got the six signature journaling cards. And on the back, more. I really don't know which ones I'm going to use, but meh. Uh, Song Bella Boulevard Family Dynamics um, card things, because I'm really loving the colourful cards right now. I think they're cute ass. Uh, it's October afternoon paper, Snickerdoodles. I think Snickerdoodles. Uh, it's a colourful sort of thing on the back, which I love so much. And then the recipes. This one's got like actual recipes on it. It's awesome. Like, Apple blossom cream and lemon cream, maple cream, caramel cream, dessert recipes for frozen creams. I think that's awesome. And then I got another October afternoon door breakers. Uh, I do like the back, but I mainly got it for this because I like the vintage sort of um, oh, ads awesome I just think that they're so cool love it uh, October afternoon modern homemakers shape stickers uh, I freaking love this it's so retro and I love it I'm going to do a page on me, I guess, when I clean the house or something like that. Or something. I'm not exactly a mother, but I really want to use that one as, like, me in the kitchen. Because I think that would be awesome. It's just so, like, traditional. It's just awesome. I guess American family. I don't know. I just, I just think of Americans when I say that. But that's not a generalisation. And then these ones, this is called uh, Saver by Little Yellow Bicycle. It's kind of like indented paper, if you can see. 
tea time, greatest big cutouts it's called, beet stir mix, bon appetit, made from scratch, flour, sugar, sizzle, sizzle, fry, saute, goodness, homemade, whisk, and served with love. I just think they're little cute little um, paper cuts, and you cut them out. And with the papers, I got the uh, Mini Circa 1934 deck by Cosmo Cricket. I love Cosmo Cricket paper at the moment. It's just very vintage and very sort of retro and just really all out there. And I don't know, I hate black and red, but I love it at the same time. It's just annoying. It's a dark show. But it's always... I just love this sort of stuff right now. It's a paper pack. Uh, I'll just oh, I'll quickly show you these. Might as well while they're here. Uh, I got an order in the mail today from Parrots Play Bird Toys. Yes, I know they're bird toys, but I wanted to just try to see what I could do with these vintage spools. They're small ones. I thought they'd be a bit bigger, but I want to just see what it's like to start with them. And um, They're bird toys, but I'm pretty sure I can use them. I like using innovative stuff, being creative and challenging with products that you probably, you know, pay an arm and a leg for. The only thing I am pissed off about is that I paid for all the postage and handling for these. And I know it's four dollars, but it only costs him a dollar twenty to send it. And I could have like spent, I could have bought another packet for that. You know, it just really irritates me, I guess. And I like to, you know, pay. You know, I want to get what my money is worth. Money's not. It's not. It's not important. It's just. It's really irritating, I guess. But anyway, that's my spiel. So I got some of those. And I finally got some black paper bags. Um, I'm hoping these are the ones that you guys have over there. They look like the ones. Because I can't find them here anywhere. And so I got the, these ones. With the really big bottoms and the tops. And I'm, I'm definitely sure these are the type of ones you can make paper bag albums out of properly. Like, you know. They're very flimsy though. Um, but looking forward to using them and if I like, if I like them I'm going to buy some more because I appreciate and then I'll see how much time I got I'll just kind of whiz through these because I've got more stuff behind me uh, these are the To The Moon by Fancy Pants Design stickers elf stickers they're kind of like navy blue awesome uh American Craft Doll Thickies. Thickers. I call them Thickies. If I say Thickies, you know what I'm talking about. They're like really nice, yum, chunky ones. Lots on this one too. Uh, Jenny Bolin Studio Mini Chalkboard Alpha Red. Loving these. So, schooly sort of things, but I just like them. They're cute. Uh, the circus stickers to go with the paper pack by Cosmo Cricket. Just my penny for what it's worth. Smile. Ten things I love. Uh, some five and dime label stickers by October Afternoon. These Bella. Oh no, Echo Park. Be mine um, stickers. I got these because I'll pretty much go with the pack I'm getting in the mail uh, by Teresa Collins, I guess. But I think they will. They're very like love and Paris and stuff like that. Romance. You get those ones there. You get the pink ones. Uh, five and dime alphas. Found alpha. I love this pack. It's like retro, but it's really awesome and it's got lots of different size. Letters and numbers and things like that were definitely worth the money for it. 
uh, Gabriel, but, um, Bow Bunny press. You get the border stickers, the sort of die cut sort of looking stickers, tags, and you get the pink alphas. Awesome, awesome to go with the collection. Um, more Jenny Bolin flag stickers. Oh, sorry. Uh, these ones are the monthly ones, I guess. Flag banners, calendar. Awesome. You get two of each. Uh, thickies, chipboard, rock, rocket, rocketeer. Loving these ones. They're like sort of chunky. I love my black ones. And jelly bean soup. Blanched black alphas. I love the font in this. And I also love the name Blanched Black. They come with stars and little dot thingy, bob, bob, bee boobies and stuff, whatever they want to call them. Uh, doobies. And yeah, so that was pretty good price. Uh, stickers, rather. And if you just bear with me for one second, I'll quickly go through what I got today at the scrapbooking shop. I got some more tape for my little gun that I got because I went through like a whole roll of this tape the other day doing a project. I got some six pack of black envelopes and black cards. I'm loving pa uh, making pa uh, sort of paper bag, paper envelope album sort of things at the moment, trying them out. And cards, so for three bucks I thought why not. Uh, these are one special for $2, they're eyelet shapes, $2. I got an EK Success um, Edge Puncher, okay, looks like a binder book, or paper from one, for $24. Some Metal gate hinge thingies, which I'm probably going to fix up and redo and stuff for a dollar. Crate paper. This is from the Cowboy Girl collection. It's called Buckle. Loving the sort of rustic edge to it. And then lastly, I got this Tim Holtz. Um... Javelin shush configuration print tray. I'm pretty sure if you watch a few videos online or you've probably seen it before, but it's like a thing you can alter. It was $24, it was pretty expensive, but I wanted to get it to work on it. And these are all the different ways you can sort of configure them. And then to go with it, it was a little bit expensive, but the fractured dolls. They have no arms and no clothes, but I'm gonna like sort of make some, sew some clothes for them all. Something vintagey, make little shoes or whatever, and then I'll stick them probably in the thing. But that's I guess what that's that's what they're for. But they were seven dollars, so yeah. So that's what I've got so far. I'm gonna put it all away now. But yes, yeah, so the next video I'll probably do will be a what I'm well, what projects I'm just. A little dabbling about with at the moment. You can see kind of one of them there working on that. So, a paper bag mini album. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching.